Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me. I hope that you all have had a great day. So today I wanna to talk about vulnerability. And I thought about it because I have really made a video every single day for the past 30 days. And in this space, I've learned so much about myself. As you guys know, I've told you that I've had another YouTube channel dedicated to my business. And I've made that channel super fancy. I have the equipment and the nice, everything to make the channel like really like flourish but I feel like I placed so much uh pressure on myself which built up a lot of resistance to and it has affected the outcome that I wanted so I made this channel to get over being a procrastinator and to get over being a perfectionist so I record every single video on my phone you guys if you were ever thinking about starting a YouTube channel start it because you have thousand dollar camera pretty much on your phone so i love that for me but it's also helped me to take the pressure off of myself and what i find through this journey you guys is how vulnerable i have become like with myself and with you guys and i'm just glad that i resonate with you guys a lot of you share the same sentiments that i do so it's really nice to expose your thoughts and other people just resonate with it so it is a lot to look at yourself and see the things that you're insecure about and you know it does make you feel vulnerable it makes you feel naked especially like some of my thoughts and my philosophies like i do talk a lot about mindset and i do talk a little bit about manifestation but i really like to pair the um healing process and working out our shame and really make that my focus so i do approach things a little bit differently and i'm just glad that um, i'm able to sit here and define a little bit more on the the route that i want to go with this channel so this has helped me to do that a lot and i didn't know what i was really going to really you know do with this channel i just know that i wanted to be intentional with myself for growth with myself and, and in turn it has provided service which uh, has been helping you guys so i'm very grateful for that so vulnerability is a strength you guys of course and when you set out to do something that makes you uncomfortable like creating a youtube channel putting your thoughts out there sharing your journey whether it is you starting a business and progressing in that or a fitness journey or um any type of journey that causes massive change in your life and even like working on your manifestation skills to shift your identity that requires a level of vulnerability and not just vulnerability with other people you guys but vulnerability mainly with yourself and within yourself and when you expose yourself to yourself it is a lot to handle sometimes and depending on how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself in relation to the things that you're doing sometimes it is very hard to especially for me it's hard for me to watch myself on these videos because i do see some of the insecurities and the things that i would like to change about myself but also it has helped me to accept myself as i am now with all of my flaws and i'm sure you guys pr probably don't care about anything like that but it has helped me to lessen the importance on a lot of the things that i place so much importance on so i just create these videos in one take and I want to keep doing that so that way I can learn how to be the communicator that I would like to be. So it's a lot to um, get information from outside, but it's very important for you to study yourself because how can you change anything about yourself when you can't even look at yourself and the way that you are now and see the things that you want to change? So vulnerability is really about facing yourself in the way that you could respect and accept yourself for how you are now but also take a lot of the things that you would like to change about yourself or things that you want to get better on and put those things into practice so um <laughs> one of the other things that i noticed is you start to see yourself for who you are and start to see yourself for all that you can be and all the things that the possibilities that open up when you expose yourself to yourself and it fills you to be intentional with your life so my intention with this channel was really to get over being a um procrastinator and a um 
and a perfectionist pretty much <laughs> and so it has definitely helped me to lessen that and to be able to be okay with whatever the outcome is, which has helped me in my personal life and in my business. I have lessened the importance on a lot of things and I find that me relaxing has helped a lot of my manifestations come in quicker, but also I am not as resistant to change as I once was. So because I think it exposes my weaknesses when I go back and I watch these videos and it kind of just humbles me because sometimes we think that we are projecting ourselves in a way out into the world that we are have this mindset that sometimes we are a certain way in how we see ourselves and when you sit back and you really do something that really forces you to put yourself out there it kind of humbles you in a way to kind of see like okay like of course, I'm not perfect and there are a lot of things that I need to work on, but it helps you to give yourself grace and it helps you to give grace to other people around you. And so it also helps you get rid of the need to compare. Vulnerability for me, I think one of the biggest lessons is it's got me out of the comparison trap. And so, like I said, with social media, I have deleted my personal Facebook and I've just zeroed in on getting better within myself. And so... Um, when you do this, whatever journey you're on, when you do it for you, it really just makes all the difference. So the last thing I want to tell you guys is vulnerability is for you. It's not for anyone else. And it does, you share your vulnerability with other people when you are in love and all these things. But do you ever really share your vulnerability with yourself? So I would urge you guys to do something, whether it's even just recording yourself or like video diaries or whatever, or doing something to kind of put yourself out there to expose your weaknesses, you guys, because how are we going to get lasting changes with, you know, anything? Or how do we do we know the things that we need to work on? Because some of the things... I didn't even know that I needed to work on until I started doing this. And then I've learned in other areas in my life that there were things that I wanted to work on too. So I'm on my way to doing that. So like I said, I've made a video every day for the past 30 days. So will I continue to make videos every single day? I think at some point that I probably won't make them every day, but I would like to uh, get back to making my... Um, like my shame video, like that took off and I was just like blown away with the response that that had got. So I love to, I would love to make more in depth videos with that. So it would take more time and research on that. But I think the direction that I'm headed with this channel is one that is very authentic to me and it's helping me kind of discover what my purpose really is. So I'm just grateful for that and I'm grateful for you guys. So I want to just thank you one more time for that. And I hope that you have a great day wherever you are. And get down in the comments and tell me what is something that you're going to put yourself out there. What is something that you're going to work on to kind of make yourself vulnerable so you can create a lasting change. All right. So I hope you have a good day wherever you are. And I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.